This is just about the hair. And I had a very funny insult slung my way. That I was greedy. That it was pure hatred. Um, and there was another one, I, I forget the name. Um, Cant something. Cant 1606 or something like that. Or 1006. 7 or 66, 1066. What a funny, funny thing to be talking about and to an Orthodox person. And the Roman papists. Papists. And I don't use that word lightly. I don't like that word. I think it's actually bigoted and racist. But um, the papal armies came into England. <coughs> Even though I don't think too highly of the Anglo Saxons. The one thing that disturbs me the most about the atheists, which is why I like this book so much and why I like Ayn Rand so much, and I think that those would be the two salvations of atheism, that this kind of quasi-liberal leftist, but sometimes right-wing atheist, atheists can be the Cheshire Cat, they can play any role, they can call you on any immorality, they can be the moral police, um, is that they don't, there's no standards applied to themselves. Um, let's just talk about, well, greed. Um, any of you out there that know who I am, know that I've sacrificed seven years of my life just for my family. And that can be said as greedy in Ayn Rand's circle of, um, selfishness, but monetary, monetary greed, there's none of that inside of me, and people know that, but they can sling this because they don't know me, but let's go to another one, cowardice, now there's just simple cowardice of be, not being honest and not having to own up to it, just even a, even a debate, you can't even engage in a debate with anybody, you just have to sling these cliches and insults at people. Um, you have to, you know, uh, 45H3R4H was one of them who could not engage in a, in a debate. He, you could not, it was not question, response, question, response, question, response, question. And when I say re response, question, you respond and then you ask a question and the other person responds to that question and then they ask a question of you. It, 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 it was not linear, it was just throwing these these little jabs at that were so disconnected and so, um, I mean, they were just non sequiturs. But let's go another route. Um, hatred, pure hatred. <laughs> pure hatred, really. The love of Christ, the love of God, that's pure hatred. Christ, I mean, read the Gospels, that's that's pure hatred. Read Romans, your most hated person, Paul, even if even if you like Jesus, as Richard Dawkins claims, he wears the t-shirt, Atheists for Jesus. Um, read Romans. But most, the most thing is the cowardice of the atheist. You ever been walked up on? If you ever have to walk up on somebody, if you don't know what that is, then you've not grown up in an extremely bad neighborhood. People talk about being shot or shooting people. Well, putting a knife into somebody is, or a shiv or something is, is far different from that. It's up close, it's personal, it's intimate. Um, People may view me as a monster for what happened 10 years ago, but um, I think it's silly that atheists throw out these cliches without knowing anything. I mean, it's just like, uh, I mean, these would be the type of people that would call Martin Luther King Jr. a racist for, for him being a Republican or... Uh, Or the type of hippies that would call the, you know, the, the people coming back from war cowards. I mean, it's, it's hypocrisy at, 
I mean, at, at, at the point of lunacy. Um, and this Kant person, this, or Kant, K-A, like, he's spelled like Immanuel Kant. Um, they, uh, him and uh, Camaro, it's not Camaro, it's Camaro, um, Camara, um, O2 Girl, um, haven't watched most of my, but not even most of the new videos, um, we say that I'm hypocritical when I bash the Mormons. Um, the Mormons are wicked, evil, pagan people. There is such a thing as heresy. What's hypocritical about that? The Christians have always denounced heresy. Let me give you more ammunition. Mormons, Jehovah's Witness, actually all Aryans, Pentecostal Oneness, actually all Sabellianists or modalists, Nestorians, all forms of Western Christianity, heresy. Why do we oppose heresy? Because it destroys the underpinning of salvation, because it turns God into a monster. Um, these are people who know nothing about Eastern Orthodoxy, um, who know nothing about me, but choose to judge Eastern Orthodoxy and me off of watching a six minute video or a 15 minute video where they say, I mean, one of them said, you look like you're in a bloke federal building, your name, you, you don't look like your name would be Yusuf. Called him a racist. Because these are people that think like, you know, hey, you must look like you're working at the Quickie Mart. You must look like Apu to be Arab. Well, um, Desis, Indians, Pakistanis, Sri Lankans, Bengalis, they, these are not Arabs. Um, people may argue Syrian and Jordanian aren't Arab. And we can make that argument. Or even Lebanese are not Arab, but they're Arab. Eh? Arab speakers. Um <coughs> Yes, I am Syrian, along with Colombian and Argentinian, but the majority, I mean, the majority meaning just under half of me is Irish, Irish Catholic. Um, so this foolishness of these atheists, the, the thing I despise about them and why I will never take their argument serious is the cowardice. Now, if you want to bring out the virtue of selfishness or any one of Ayn Rand's books or this fantastic work right here by Anton Zander LaVey, Satanic Bible, then we can talk. Then then you have some ground to uh, to talk on, or even if you, you were to be an actual Marxist, and when I mean actual Marxist, I mean you actually go by what is written in the Communist Manifesto, which would mean you would say it was a necessity to expel all immigrants, all legal and illegal immigrants which is what the Communist Manifesto calls for. But these people will not be consistent, and they will hide. Usually they were rich, and they have, both of these people have more money than I do. I can tell you that right now. I don't know them, but I can tell you that they have more money than I do right now. They don't give a shit about my dying sister or my brother. Um, and they will uh, say, oh, boo, boo. They will say, they will say that the most horrible insults over, their, over YouTube. Um that they wouldn't say in person. They're cowards, and I don't respect them. And I don't respect most, um, I wouldn't say the atheist on the street, but um, these new type of new atheist YouTubers. Um, smoking's a sin? I didn't know about that. Please tell me where in scripture it says smoking is a sin. And that whole bullshit about your body is a t oh yeah bullshit you know um, Paul in the Greek actually used words much harsher than that um, uh, your body is a temple that was used in reference to sexual immorality please point out to me my sexual immorality <laughs> oh well you'll, you'll point to the fact that the Eastern Orthodox don't contempt, con condemn transgendered people I guess you'll point to that and then say I'm having um, multiple sexual partners with uh, transgendered uh, 
Brazilian women or something like that. Brazilian uh, people who are born male who are now going into female. So, no, we do not believe in original sin. Heaven and hell cannot be used in description of our afterlife. And God is love. Besides that, we use apophatic uh, terms. And at the end of the day, our own consciousness judges us because it's whether we have a contrite heart or not. But we'll all be at the same place. May God save Serbia and Syria. May Bashir al-Assad reign for a thousand years. And um, may NATO and the UN be crushed. As soon as I say that, they're going to say that I'm allied with the Nazis or other people or because I believe there are people in Palestine that are being murdered by Israelis that, oh, well, I'm a neo-Nazi for that. But then at the, same, and at the same time that they'll speak out against um, America and Israel and what NATO has done and the bombs that NATO dropped, but they won't shed a tear for Serbia. They won't say, oh, they won't get involved in the problems in the Middle East. They won't be a part of the Jerusalem task force. They won't do any of this stuff. Cowardice. This is what I call all you atheists, all you, and I'm not talking all atheists, these YouTube atheists that, that won't actually engage in debate. Cowards and greedy, because you know what? You have more money than me, and you're more greedy with your more money than, you, than I am. And I know that for a fact.